welcome back to Makuti Kids Corner. Today we're having a, sorry, lots of banging around. Today we're having a quick look at shells, all sorts of shells, different shells, uh, spidery looking shells, acorn, that's not a shell, coral and feathers. Enjoy! And please don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to Makuti Kids Corner. There is no power today, so I just decided to get out some of the brick brack and all the stuff that we've collected over time. And we have this feather collection, which KK has collected over time. Where from? South Africa? Yeah, 2017 in South Africa. Um, I think these are vultures, are they? You seem to probably know. They're not vultures. Okay, what are they? This one is a vulture. Okay, so Keke says this belongs to a vulture. Do you remember what type of vulture? What species? Um, the lesser vulture. No, that one. The lesser vulture? Possibly. Yeah. This is... A lilac breasted roller. Be believe it or not, a lilac breasted roller. One of the most beautiful birds. In fact, it's the unofficial national bird of Kenya. The colors of that bird are amazing. Look at that blue. This is a guinea fowl, a northern guinea fowl. Okay, there goes the bird expert. What else do you have? I have got the feather of a young martial eagle. You can tell that it's a martial eagle from these markings. And if the markings are bright, it means it's young. If they start to get damper and damper, it means it's growing very old. Now this which you may think is a vulture, this actually belongs, huh? This actually belongs to uh, a batalure. Whoa, a batalure. Let's have a closer look at it. A batalure is an eagle, isn't it? Yeah. Orange beak and spots on the front feathers. Hmm. Keke like says orange beak and spots on the front feathers. Yeah, the front feathers are the ones that have spots. The back, the front feathers are the ones that have spots, like up here at the front. But at the back, the feathers that stick on the back, they are just plain. It's a very beautiful bird, powerful beak, hunts on small things like rats. It just swoops down and then boom, grabs it with the talons. I just love this. I'll show it to you again. Here is one from another guinea fowl. This one is a southern, southern guinea fowl. How is it called? A southern guinea fowl. They usually have like white feathers at the top, then going at the back, like around their hips, that it goes like darker and darker. So it's like black and white bird. And but uh, unsurprisingly this one doesn't have spots. But others like the northern guinea fowl, it's just black and grey full of white spots all around. Ooh, awesome. Right, now let's move on and have a look at some of our shell collection. Oh. Alright, let's find some bits of coral first. Let's start with some coral, bits of coral. Here is an uh, anemone. As it you can does see, look like it could be a sea anemone. Yeah. As you can see, there's these things growing in. Those are coral strands. They're what keeps the coral alive for hundreds of years. Look. No, no, no. I think oh, this looks like a bit of rock coral as well. Could be. That definitely is. Yep. Okay, what else do we have that's interesting? If you listen. 
listen closely into the shell, you can actually hear the ocean. Like, if you listen, you can hear the waves of the ocean going in and out. That's a cowrie shell? Yup. You can probably hear them better on the bigger ones. We used to do that when we were kids. Like these ones. Yeah. The shark attack. Okay, other shells of interest. This one is really heavy. Looks like a clam. It could have been a clam shell. Where's the pearl? Pardon? Where's the pearl? The pearl oysters. Oysters. Yeah. Carefully. It's very heavy. Don't smash it on the glass. We have this. Um. It's very small, but extremely highly detailed. Okay, how about that? Very beautiful, very sharp, it's almost like a Cone dagger. Shell. Wait, wait, wait. Pokey, pokey, pokey. It's very sharp here at the top. Let's have a better look at it. I just love the way it's sharp and nozzly and like an ear. It's very unique. I guess that's it. Well, we haven't shown each of them, but here you can all have a closer look. And we have an acorn. Oh, yes, we do. It fell off the ground from a tree, so we decided to pick it up, and it's very good for making a, like nut butter, but we don't use it for that. We just keep it as like <laughs> nature. I don't know if that's true. Please, the nut butter. I saw it in a movie. Like here, you can see like there's nice spikes and all that. I think he means like squirrels. It was a film about acorns and squirrels. So like squirrel nut butter. Right, I think that's a wrap from us today on Makuti Kids Corner. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out Spiral Optic Spiral Optic underscore. You'll see it on the end screen.